I am Anthony Dolivera. Since 2013, I am wandering around the world. Doing it as a black man gave me such a different perspective. Today, I would like to share with you what I am experiencing on the road. This is my story. Welcome to downtown of Lima. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Mi nombre es William de las Casas, soy de Lima, Perú. Bueno, le quiero dejar un gran mensaje a todas esas personas que hoy en día están buscando grandes sueños en la vida. Para mí, eh, lo particular, viajar fue lo mejor que me ha pasado. Yo les aconsejo a todos que traten de viajar, eso les ayuda a ustedes a expandir la mente, a que puedan conocer otras culturas, que eh, no se enfoquen solamente aquí, que traten de buscar otras eh, fuentes de ingresos para que ustedes puedan seguir adelante y luchen por sus sueños. Hola, me llamo Mayela Huerta, soy arquitecto, soy peruana. Eh, estamos grabando en este momento un pequeño mensaje con todo cariño para nuestro amigo que está haciendo un viaje a nivel del mundo y bueno, ¿qué le diría yo de mensaje? ¿Qué, cómo, ¿Qué le diría? Que siempre que respetemos a los demás, que nos amemos nosotros mismos y amemos lo que hacemos, nos va a ir bien en la vida. El respeto, el amor, el cariño hacia los demás nos guía para salir adelante. Entonces, si uno logra viajar y conocer y aprender las costumbres de otros países también está transmitiendo lo que sabe, lo que siente y lo que tiene. Ese sería el mayor de mis mensajes. Yo, hey, what's up, guys? So, good morning from Lima. It is 7:30 in the morning, and today I will be on my way to Cusco, down south. Uh, well, I am feeling very excited to leave the city. You know, to be honest, I had quite a good time here, but you know, as usual, I am always feeling super happy to leave the big city. As usual, first step will be to find a bus which can take me outside of the city. And from there, I will have to find a good spot to hitchhike a ride. Guys, I am slowly getting to my hitchhiking spot. I think I still have to walk about maybe half an hour until I reach a good spot to hitchhike, but I'm getting there. This is where I am going to catch a ride on my way down south. So, right in front of me, I got a pretty good spot to eat jack. Look, you know, there is a lot of trucks passing by. Anyway, I made it. I should definitely get myself some water and some food because I think I have a very long trip to go. To be honest, I am not really sure where to go. But uh, anyway, this is such a perfect spot because all the cars have to stop by. And this is where I could jump on the track. Yeah guys, I know, same story every day. Alright guys, so I cut a lift, 
but you know I am not sure where this track is going as always you know this is like Ah, vaya, voy por... Gracias. Guys, I fail. I have to try again. This truck wasn't going anywhere. It is about that time guys the waiting game so pretty much I am uh, waiting right now to uh, jump on a track and, uh, yes I don't see any good possibility so this is why I am still here I made it hopefully I am not going to get kicked out anyway uh, yes you know Once again, I messed up. I got kicked off. You know, the driver basically saw me and he told me to get out. Well, my day is starting pretty well, to be honest. I totally messed up. Right now, I will have to keep on working toward the shaft. I pass all the highway tools so you know the only solution I got right now is to work there is no hitchhiking spot around me so basically guys I have to keep I have to keep on working hey buenas tardes Hasta el PR. Sí, yo soy de Francia, pero yo soy muy chileo. Gracias. Muchas gracias, mi amable. Ay, qué difícil de caminar tanto. Gracias. Guys, a single mistake cost me the whole day you know I caught a ride this morning but I got kicked off so basically I started to work and you know that wasn't a good idea because the highway tools was like really far away so guys today was definitely a messy day for sure I just met those friendly people, uh, two women who gave me a lift. So I, so I think, so I think, from where I am right now, all the way to the highway tool, I got eight miles to go. So not too far. I feel that I am going to travel during the night because you know. Today, I haven't made any progress, for sure. So, what a messy day, guys! What a messy day! I am telling you. I think today I'm gonna have to travel by night because you know I haven't moved basically. I've been working 
things all day, all day long, you know, before I got my first ride when I made it. <laughs> insane, it's insane, it's insane. Everything starts with a vision. All right, guys. So, good morning from Pisco. It is 9.30 in the morning. And this is pretty much my hitchhiking spot. Well, to be honest, I am quite happy because uh, yesterday I thought that it was going to be difficult to catch a ride this morning on my way to the Saft but to be honest this is a pretty good spot you know yes guys I am not sure what is going on but lately it has been so difficult to catch a ride so you know uh, I am finally moving down south where he's going but you know from here to Ica I think it is about 30 miles so anyway today I made a good progress this is the most important <laughs> I am feeling definitely happy guys for sure I am leaving Ica on my way south so I got here about two hours ago from Pisco I went around the city but you know it was a little bit quiet I wanted to set up an exhibition but unfortunately not many people were there so uh, Right now, I am just heading back on the road on my way to Nazca. Guys, yeah, yeah, I am still in the city of uh, Ica. Right now, I am walking toward. Right now, I am walking toward the edge of the town. And hopefully from there, I could catch a ride. This is the plan so far. Alright, guys. So, I made it. I think so. Well, let's see where we are heading. We are moving forward. Where we are going, to be honest, I haven't spoken to uh, the driver yet, you know, if I got the chance, I will, for sure, but uh, yeah, I have no idea where he's going, anyway, it is getting uh, cold, slowly, the landscape is amazing, guys. One hour, it 
will get done. So we will see what is going to happen. People want to give me some food and some water, you know, even though I don't really need it, you know, but people are really nice. so lucky I spoke to my driver and uh, he's going all the way to Cusco so this is where I am going as well and, uh, he just told me that from where we are right now Nazca all the way to Cusco it is about two days to get there you know so a really long journey but uh, I am looking so forward to take you into this new adventure yes guys I guess this is where I am going to sleep tonight and tomorrow we will be leaving early guys so good night and yes see you tomorrow Peace. four twenty in the morning and we are moving again I got kicked out, you know, by the cops for no reasons, you know. She's like so bad, guys. I caught a ride all the way to Cusco. I even spoke to my driver. And uh, yes, the cops kicked me out. Damn. So right now, you know, like, I am basically waiting here again. I am basically waiting to catch an another ride. This is like so messed up, you know, guys. I was like so happy. I was going all the way to Cusco and I got kicked out. Fuck. No way. Ay, ay, ay. I am so mad. Guys, great! I spoke to the driver. Well, I have no idea where he's going, but you know, at least he knows that I am here on the track.
Guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. Right now, we are about maybe 20 miles away from Abanke, and this is where the driver is going. So, I still got, I think, 150 miles all the way to Cusco. But uh, yes, that was definitely an epic trip. Guys, for sure. Va bien hasta Cusco? Via Abangue hasta Cusco? 6 horas. 6 horas. Ah. ¿Y hay bastante camión también? ¿Qué? ¿Hay bastante camión que se va por allá? 6 horas. ¿Se queda con nosotros este camión? Ese se va a Abangue. Guys, I am so dirty. Anyway, I spoke to the driver and he's going to Cusco. He's going to Cusco, guys. So, thumbs up. Guys, I spoke to Michel. Eh, con permiso, Michel. Sí, botella porque yo tomo agua. ¿Así? ¿Por qué? Hacer, pues. Muchas gracias, Michel. No te preocupes, así no me dejan. Vamos a hacer usted. Ahí está el botón para que si quieres bajar. ¿eh? Si quieres bajar, ah, Aquí. Sí. Ok. Tiene que... Eh, Michel, entonces... Tiene que aprender la memoria, Taya. Sí. ¿Usted me puede comentar por qué está difícil de... ¿Por qué la gente no lleva? Ah, no, no llevan porque... Cuando llegaron los venezolanos les apoyaron bastante, pero empezaron a asaltar, a robarnos. Entonces ya dejaron de llevar a la gente. Uno es eso, y dos es que... Atrás está prohibido en el Perú llevar. Está prohibido porque es una papeleta, una multa, pero desde que llegaron los venezolanos se ha vuelto común, entonces ya no fastidian ya. La policía ya no te detiene, pero antes de eso la policía te detenía y te ponía una infracción. Pero ahora este, como que un poco se ha soltado por el tema de los venezolanos, pero ya no recoge mucho la gente al venezolano porque empezaron, como te vuelvo a repetir, empezaron a asaltarnos. Entonces ya evitamos subir gente, ¿no? Yo, yo, what's up, guys? So, good morning from Cusco. Right now it is 8 in the morning, and I got here on Thursday from Nazca. To be honest, it has been such a long journey traveling through the mountain. It was definitely intense, but very beautiful. Today, the idea will be to keep on heading down south on my way to the border with Bolivia. Uh, I think from here to uh, Puno, I got about 300 miles. So this is the idea so far for today. Uh, yesterday was a big celebration here in Cusco because it was the beginning of the Holy Week. I am slowly making my way out of the city. I think I'm gonna have to walk maybe 10 miles until I reach the edge of the town. And yes, guys, you know, in the meantime, I am going to show you how look Cusco. Guys, I am very short of breath, to be honest. I need a coffee to wake up because 
I am feeling very tired, you know. ¿Eso qué es? Coca spray. Coca en vitamina es de chupe. ¿Y cómo se come? Así no me afecta. Este es coca. Guys, right now I am eating coca. Coca dip. Yo voy por puno ahorita. Sí, pero una colaboración de café. I have heard for so long about that, but right now it is the first time that I'm trying, you know? And to be honest, it is quite good, you know? Energetic. I am still walking toward the edge of the town. I think I still got maybe half an hour before I reach a good point to check. And uh, yes. It is a sunny day. Early this morning, it was raining a little bit, but now the day looks better. So yes. I should definitely get myself a small bag of coca. I think it could be helpful. To be honest, I am not sure if I can catch a ride here. I heard that there is a highway tool, maybe down the road, maybe five blocks down the road. So maybe this is where I will be heading. Because uh, to be honest, I don't see any spot here to catch a ride. I am struggling to find a lift. You know, here basically there is no trucks passing by. So I have to keep on working. People don't seem to know much about catching a ride so well, this is where I am going to stand and uh, hopefully soon a track will come and uh, I could jump in the best option I got right now is to go by foot I am going to walk until the next town which is i think four miles away from here and from there i will attempt to catch a lift on my way to puno What's up guys so welcome to Ruliaka I got here yesterday from Cusco and the idea right now will be to keep on heading south on my way toward Puno which is only 45 miles away from here guys once again it is uh, a little bit difficult to breathe because we are quite high in attitude I think we are about uh, three thousand and nine hundred meters up so you know quite a bit uh, difficult to breathe anyway guys before i take a move to uh, puno i would like to take you around uh, ruliaca as usual you will see it is a very interesting place guys to be honest i found the people of ruliaca a little bit like distance and also close uh, well, we have to acknowledge that since maybe a month, 
uh, in the south of Peru, they are having a lot of uh, manifestation about some political issue. This is why people are a little bit like intense, you know, and maybe not so uh, friendly in the first uh, look. But you know, uh, as usual, I am going to let you know. <laughs> you know, it's like definitely difficult to breathe, you know, but well, <laughs> I am getting used to it. Anyway guys, I am going to let you know how I feel and hopefully I could manage to uh, interview some people here in Ruliaca or maybe Puno. Yes, but uh, to be honest, the situation is definitely um, intense, you know. I think uh, many people die since the last month, you know, because of the manifestation and uh, yes, it is a bit intense to be honest guys i am leaving ruliaca on my way to puno which is only 50 miles away from here so not too far right now i am walking toward my hitchhiking spot Unfortunately, I couldn't manage to record some interview in uh, Puno, in uh, Ruliaca, sorry. But uh, hopefully, hopefully, when I will get to Puno, I could manage to uh, share with you a little bit about what is going on in the south part of Peru, guys. So yes, for now, I am heading toward a decent hitchhiking spot and look look what I got guys coca all the way to be honest I found the culture here in Ruliaca quite conservative people are very distant and it's a bit difficult to create human connection but you know i am still appreciate i came here but to be honest it was a bit difficult to get in touch with the people were definitely tough plus the heatness uh, traveling in the desert you know so it was definitely like a very interesting trip right now I am getting closer of the border with uh, Bolivia I think in about maybe two or three days I will cross the border into Bolivia and uh, yes guys you know that was like just a small feedback about what I've been what I've been through. All right, guys. So this is where I will attempt to catch a ride on my way to Puno. It's not too far. I think like 45 miles away from here. And yes, this is a pretty good e-checking spot. Hey, ¿cómo estamos? Hey, muchas gracias. Muy amable. What's up guys so good morning from the highest lake on earth El Lago Titicaca I got here yesterday from Ruliaca and basically right now I am just as usual getting lost and walking around right now I am in Puno the idea today 
will be to take you around different parts of Puno. You will see it is a very nice place with a very strong culture. So, you know, I will be more than happy to uh, show you different parts of the city. And uh, tomorrow I will be heading on my way toward the border with Bolivia. So uh, I am looking really forward to take you into this new journey, guys. The particularity of the Lake Titicaca, it is that there is some people who are living on it. I made it in one of the islands in the Lake Titicaca. I met uh, somebody and he told me that if you want, I can uh, take you around different parts of the lake, you know. So this is where I am currently. It is very interesting to see how people are living out in the middle of the lake and how people are surviving as well. So it is definitely uh, nice to be here and to uh, meet the people. Hi Anthony, hola Anthony, ¿cómo estás? Mucho gusto. Te saludamos de acá, desde Puno, te saluda Jorge Tito. Soy un ciudadano puneño de Perú y bien, felicitarte por tu visita. Puno es un lugar maravilloso, conocido como, pues, por el lago Titicaca, el lago navegable más alto del mundo. Entonces, eh, la gente aquí es muy amable, la comida es bastante deliciosa, te recomiendo el chairito, el ceviche y otros, otros tipos de, de gastronomía puneña. En el Perú también puedes encontrar lo que es Cusco, tenemos lo que es eh, Machu Picchu, una de las maravillas más grandes de acá, de todo, de todo el país. Entonces, a toda la gente de todo alrededor del mundo les mando un hello, un good morning, good afternoon, good evening, hi, año hace yo, etc. Y es hola, hola, saludos y un fuerte abrazo para todos. Gracias. ¿Cómo estás, Anthony? Eh, agradecerte más bien por un pequeño reportaje que nos hizo de los 90 países y lo que me comentaste de cada una de las vivencias y hacia dónde más o menos la humanidad se dirige. Eh, mi nombre es Rodi, yo soy natural de acá de Puno y el mensaje para la humanidad sería de que seamos más humanos, ya dejemos, eh, dejemos las caras mentales, algunos que nos hace esclavos, como quien dice, tanto en el pensamiento, en lo que sea, eh, que no que vivamos en un mundo de paz, que no estemos en un lugar de conflicto porque tenemos el único planeta que existe, que nos alberga, tanto la naturaleza, que nos rodea, muchas veces ya se está yendo ya, como quien dice, a la deriva, tanto la sociedad, tanto todo ello, sería el mensaje nada más. Gracias, Antonio. Mi nombre es Jefferson, soy de Perú y pienso que el propósito de la vida, de mi vida en particular, es hacer que, bueno, que el país donde vivo comprenda de que no es necesario optar por la corrupción o por ese camino para transformar la sociedad, que nosotros podemos hacer un antes y un después. En mi país está muy marcado por la corrupción y yo pienso que mi propósito es hacer que esto cambie, pero a través de actos. Pienso que la mejor manera de liderar es a través del ejemplo. Y espero dedicar mi vida a cumplir eso. Good morning from Puno. Right now it is 8.30 in the morning. And today I will be on my way to La Paz, Bolivia. So from where I am right now, I got about 150 miles before I reach the border and from there I think I got another 70 or 80 miles away from La Paz so the idea today will be to reach La Paz which is the biggest city in Bolivia 
and also the highest capital in the world. Anthony, si. ah. <laughs> Anthony. Anthony. Si. Anthony. <laughs> All right, guys. So I caught my first ride. Edwin, ¿a dónde vamos? A Islave. Islave, a Islave. So. Una hora de viaje. Ah. We are going to travel one hour. Guys, Edwin picked me up so fast. I didn't even wait like one minute that I got picked up by Edwin. So I give a thanks. Muchas gracias, Edwin. Muy amable. Gracias. Hilata Anthony. Iwasaka Anchaka Panisaka Saraskanwa. Ila Markaru Apaskmah. Umaha Ila Markatha Sarahataha de Sawaderuru. Sasapi awistis taha wa desa wa derut sarau hara kia tawa la pasar na yaha haita o mama o maroha ila beruki o haita o mama. Antoni kwa tuma ha suma kuchi kira kia sarau hara tani kia kia atas kuna suma puris kanya nek cha ila beruk. Yes. En ai mara nada. En ai mara. Te te di cho este este amigo Antoni estamos viajando a a ila be. De ahí tú te vas a embarcarte para el desaguadero y de ahí tú ya te vas a, a La Paz, te digo. Es el bloqueo, así está. Así, y me puede comentar por qué es bueno. O sea, han estado de desacuerdo con el gobierno. Han estado de desacuerdo con el gobierno, por eso lo han bloqueado es, las vías así. ¿Y qué pasó con el gobierno? O sea que ha dado el gobierno lo que ha sido autorizado, este, lo que ha ganado las elecciones ha dado un golpe y la que era su vicepresidenta tuvo una palabra de que si lo votaban a suficiente le iban a... ella sí iba a ir pero no, no ha cumplido pues su palabra de ahí no, la, la gente se levantó, la población Más en el sur, ¿verdad? Sí ¿Y en el norte? ¿También? No, no mucho, más así aquí en el sur Arequipa, Sí, Puno, Arequipa, Juliaca. Puno, Juliaca a Purima. Así. Sí. ¿Y por qué más en el sur y no en el norte? Porque más creo que ha sido por esto. La votación del electorado más apoya así de este lado. Ah, ok. Sí. Guys, I made it so fast, you know. Right now I am in Isla B, which is one hour away from Puno. I still got maybe two hours before I reach the uh, border with Bolivia so yes guys uh, Edwin was definitely really friendly he gave me ¿Cómo está, Boba? he gave me a bench of information about the protestation and what is going on currently in Peru so you know it was definitely nice to talk to him and uh, yes Such my friend, such a really nice person for sure. So now I will be walking toward the edge of the town, and from there I will attempt once again to catch a ride. Yes, guys, it is hot, definitely hot, but the people are very friendly. So, thumbs up. Welcome to Islave. A kind of YouTube. Saca de Pipa. No, no, voy por Bolivia. Bolivia. No, no, we no, no, we no, we. Go, go. Muy sano, muy sano, verdad? Ha ha. Guys, people are funny. Asking me if I want some weed or coke. People are funny, you know. Anyway, let's keep on working toward my hitchhiking spot. What a beautiful landscape, guys. I am loving it.
Guys, I finally made it. Right behind me, we got the border between Peru and Bolivia. And right now, I am about to uh, exit Peru to enter Bolivia.